everyone. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, come on in. Let us know where you're from. What are you doing on Monday? Monday, Monday. Um, it's just got a quickie because we have the um, we have the in search of which is about to go live in just under 30 minutes so I just wanted to pop in and say hello God, it's chilly in this room um, actually let's let's just put some heat on in here because oh my gosh I am like a chilly 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 person here it is crazy is anyone else starting to feel that it's like getting I don't know a little bit more wintry <laughs> hello jennifer hello beatrice i've lost a shoe here hello paul hi mark hello carol beta um margaret diane sonia hello 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 good to see you all oh, my camera lights up there so i'm i've got like darkness darkness anyway hello everyone i'm seeing you all pop up yay mark your number is 311 as well that's awesome 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 i know danielle actually that's what i've been working on today i've been working on master teacher oh it's exciting danielle i'll send your fur baby lots of love my fur baby is walking around but good to see you all how are you all doing i feel like a little bit i don't know a wall it's really weird <laughs> Hello, Michelle from Jamestown. I'm probably just down the road from you. Is that Jamestown, New York? I don't know. Uh, good to see you all. Hello, hello. I Yay, Eric. <laughs> so bad. Oh, my God, you cracked me up, girl. Uh, it is good to see you. Um, I thought I'd come in and do a message from Spirit. And I often refer back to some of the old messages that I do because I think sometimes we need to have... Um, you know, I don't know, they come out with some random stuff, which is interesting. Um, but I wanted to come in before my my video airs, which is my, oh, you're from Azra Bank, Kate, aww. Um, but yes, I wanted to um, come in just before In Search Of goes live. So therefore you can actually, you know, you can hop on and watch that. It's actually really funny because um, In Search Of, I think there might be a little bit, a few beeps, because <laughs> Daniel and I, uh, we had a lot of fun. I'm gonna tell you, Daniel, is it's actually hilarious. It's crazy, crazy, crazy um it's fun um so sending you lots of love we've also got a webinar that's coming up um which is called psychic burnout i think i put the link above down below wherever it is in fact i'll pop it in the link it's a free webinar on wednesday about psychic burnout if you're struggling and yes, the country, we are struggling with the fires on the West Coast. Um, I used to struggle with that a lot when I lived in LA. It is hard. I think everywhere, everywhere is struggling for some reason or not. But yes. Hello to everyone. Um, it's interesting because, ne is it next month that we're doing something? I can't remember. Next month or the month after, we're launching something really big, which I'm super excited. Uh, and we're going to be doing some global, global healing as well, which, you know, let's face it, we kind of need, we kind of need. Um, but yes, so it's, it's, uh, Ah, oh, psychic burnout is what we're actually focusing on this week. Yes, so free free webinar. Look above, low, wherever it is. The link is above. I'll pop the link in the in the um, comments as well. So at least then you can have a gander there. But I am sending a lot of love to those who are going through. You know, there's a lot of stuff that is going on in the world. A lot of stuff that's going on in the world. Um, I I. I literally chose this message. I don't know why uh, the message, I just grabbed it from, you know, our 101 days of messages that we did. And and it sounds like it's from Arielis. This looks like one I didn't, I didn't um, write down, but it does look like an Ariel message is all I'm going to say. Paul, you'll definitely be able to tell who, it, who it's from. And I'll pull out some cards as well. But I wanted to just come and say hello because, you know, I miss you guys. It's funny, isn't it? You know, you get used to doing something. I miss you. All right, here we go. Look, see, see all of you are all having a chat. 
Well, we'll pull some cards and we'll ask some direct questions and let's see in a second. Okay, are you ready? So it says message 65, it's message 65. And this is about really taking a moment just to stop. And it says, the beauty upon you, the air that you breathe, all the nature that surrounds the love in your life is all that you need for the survival of the earth. The earthly nature, as you seek the solace of gratitude and love, speak a thousand words in the breath of the wind. It's definitely Ariel. <laughs> Dance as the sunlight hits the glorious ocean that glides effortlessly towards you. You see the majestic connection between the earth, the water, and the air. Energy swells beneath you as you breathe in the air. Your ever-present stature and your presence is succumbed to all that you need around you. You are one with the earth. You as one with the ocean. You at one with the connection to the divine. Seek the calmness of the water as you journey through the waves that guide you to the peaceful space of the unknown. Bask in the sunlight as you connect to the rays of color that cascade the beauty of the spectrum which surrounds you. We are one with Mother Earth as you connect to the wisdom that is needed to help you through the joys and falls of life. You are the ever-loving spirit of the divine of oneness and you rise above the beauty of all. Connect with the inner peace as you connect to the love of the earth that we have given to you. Be one, be true, and be love. Ooh, it's crazy, it's crazy. This, I remember where I was when I wrote this. I remember where I was, I was sitting on the edge of a lake up in Thousand, uh, Thousand Islands area and that is where I wrote it. It was, I wrote it on my phone and it just literally came to me and that was Ariel. Um, and it is so true. It is really embracing that what, what we have and it's about being grateful. Um, it is about being grateful. It is about being in that divine sense. It is finding the calmness. It is finding solitude in whatever you can. It is really, really being in that moment. And isn't it interesting? We all loved these messages and then just going back and reading one, it's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But it is true. We have to have gratitude and the love. And it is very much the love um, that we can, that we have, have to have. We have to have the love. We have to have the gratitude. And it's knowing that we are holding the earth together. Um, we are holding the earth together in that way. We are keep continuing our process. We are continuing to lift and guide. And this is what happens with a lot of spiritual people. We're getting through that psychic burnout, which is why I'm doing this workshop on Wednesday. Wednesday at five o'clock, there's a link above. Um, but the psychic burnout, we're all struggling from it. We all need some form of stability, some form of routine, something, because right now we are getting burnt out. And with this, it is about connecting back to the earth. And the earth needs us. Guys, the earth needs us. And as hard as it is for us to go through this and to use our energy, we still need to because the earth, the earth, provides to us and we provide to the earth so that's how i look at it it's, it's like a, a it's the earth provides to us and we provide to the earth oh paul's going for card number five today <laughs> all right so i've pulled out two cards already um but it's allowing the it's allowing the earth to heal and that's what we're going to do so i'm going to pull out I'm going to pull out some cards because we do have In Search Of coming up in a little while, but I did want to at least come live because you know what? Guess what? I actually miss you guys. I feel like my day is not, not full until I've come Facebook Live. Seriously. Um, it's, it's really crazy. Whoa, there's another one that's flopping out. All right. So I am going to choose six. I am going to choose six cards. 
as they as the six fly out seriously 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 so that's one two three <laughs> oh my god <laughs> four five six there we go all right so i've got six cards here so here oh julie i miss you i really really do so here's what we're going to do is we're going to choose think of a number between one and six whatever you are drawn to and we are going to work and give you some cards lisa you are right no politics on here whatever your political view is i don't care where this is a carefree place all right um I don't do politics and I will have to state that as we get a little bit closer to uh, November. Uh, but yes, so um, that is, oh, that's, we're going to follow the love of spirit. So, okay, so I've got six cards here. And be a bit greedy. If you want to have all six, then you can. Then why not? It doesn't matter. Um, it does not matter. Okay, let me just take all my stuff off because I can't. I don't do readings with metal on. It's so funny because what it does is it grounds me and I don't, I don't need to be grounded. Woo! No politics, just love. Absolutely, Paul. Absolutely. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm sorry. I haven't, my light is up there. I haven't actually moved it right in front of me because I was, um, and I literally just walked in here and went, I'm going Facebook Live. So that was it. All right. So I got to be quick because the In Search of is premiering in uh, 16 minutes. And we are going to be talking about, oh, see, there's the there's a notification that's come in to tell me that we have got In Search of going up. And In Search of is we're going to be talking to Daniel Monroe. And Daniel Monroe is a psychic medium, young, young, young psychic medium. But amazing guy someone who is not ashamed of being who he is and you will actually see it and you'll be like oh my god i love the guy i think it drops the f-bomb so just be aware that's awesome okay so i'm sending you lots of love yes i've been working on master teacher i have been working on uh level one two and three psychic medium so I've been working on a lot of stuff like that uh, today. And I've also been doing some videos as well. Marianne, hi. All right. So are you ready? Between one and six. Are you ready? Whoop, 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 whoop. Think of a number between one and six. One and six. One and six. Think of your question. Are you ready? First card that popped out. You know what? We were, what was spirit? Oh, spirit. Spirit was talking about how we need to heal the earth, how we are at one with the earth, how we seek calmness, how we are, you know, we're connecting to the inner peace and what the, we have to heal the world and the world heals us. Are you ready? Look at that card. Holy crap, man. Seriously. That is the fact that we are equal, the equality that we are healing together. Together we are healing the world needs complete healing. It's the yin and the yang. That is the equal card that we are all the same. The equality is coming to. We are accepting and we are finding a balance. We are finding balance. All right. And that is important. It's finding balance. Okay. So can you believe that? And then the next card was the healing card. So just, just as I said about the healing of the world and we do global healing, look at those two cards. Who you can't, you can't make that up, can you? Oh my God. All right. So this is about the healing of the world. This is about really being, um, in that connection and healing self and healing others. And so when we're healing self and healing others, what we're allowing to do is that then once we're actually, we channel the healing through ourselves to heal others. So what we're able to do is heal ourselves too. And this is part of it. And trust me, all of all, all of the woo-woo people in the world, which means you guys, God, I'm very dark today, aren't I? Uh, let's see if I can brighten it all up. Yep, yeah, no, as bright as I'm going to get. Um, it is about the healing. So know that this healing is there and that we all have to take care of ourselves. We have to be honest and take care of ourselves. and then the card number three is the journey card here you go it's the journey card it is knowing that the journey is there we all have a decision that we need to make we've got to look at what we want to do we have to make a decision based upon what is right for us not anybody else but what is right 
for us, okay? Um, and that is what is important, all right? We have to be we have to remain safe so the earth needs her healing and so we have a choice in whether or not we are we're going to be on the journey with them okay card number four is the tree card which shows me there's a lot of wisdom there's a lot of knowledge a lot of strength and this is really opening ourselves up into that wisdom that strength that knowledge and allowing ourselves to completely pull from the universal energy from the universal energy and we're pulling the energy down and we are getting knowledge from the universal energy whether it's divine wisdom whatever you want to call it so Matt no matter what journey you're on you will always be guided and you will get the wisdom that you need the next card number five is the work card so this actually shows me that there is always work to do we're working hard we're working to maintain the energy we're lifting the energy of the world and that's how i see this card because you're carrying the world in your hands and there are workers there there are light workers i see this as light workers we're all lifting the energy up how can you, you can't make this stuff up can you and then the final card Card number six is the angel card. There we go. We are being divinely guided. We, there's the angel. This is absolute protection. So knowing that we're all working together with the realms of spirit and we are lifting and there's the angelic protection. Here we go. Oh my God, you can't make this stuff up. And all of these flew out. You all watched me as they flew out. So there you go. Those are your cards. So the first one is the healing of the world. All right. The second card is the healing. The third one is the journey. The fourth one is the tree. The fifth one is the work. And the sixth one is the angel. Paul, you can't keep changing your mind, but that's okay. I do think of you as a Paul deck number four. Uh, but there you go. Those are the cards. And hopefully it gives you an insight because we do need that healing. As light workers, we need that healing. Um, and it's interesting because exactly the message that I pulled out. Oh, my God. And that one just came out. Spirit will guide you. Spirit will guide you. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to read the message again to you uh, because I do think it's kind of a powerful message. Uh, and then I'm going to leave you. It's only very quickly because I just wanted you guys to have uh, something because I felt as though it was important. But there you go. Those are my cards. All right, as you can see, I've got the LW in front of them because they were my um, they're my practice cards. Okay, um, but if you are coming into the psychic burnout, then the message is above, below, wherever you're watching it from, it doesn't matter, it's up, down. Um, and then you can watch the In Search Of as well. In Search Of is coming up. Okay, I'm going to read this message. It's message 65. I can't even remember the date, actually. I probably could if I wanted to pull my, my thing up. But I believe it was from Ariel. Here we go. It says... The beauty upon you, the air that you breathe, all the nature that surrounds the love in your life is all that you need for the survival of the earth. The earthly nature as you seek the solace of gratitude and love speaks a thousand words in the breath of the wind. Dance as the sunlight hits the glorious ocean that glides effortlessly towards you. You see the majestic connection between the earth, the water and the air. Energy swells beneath you as you breathe in the air your ever-present stature and your presence is succumbed to all that you need around you. You are, sorry, you as one with the earth, you as one with the ocean, you at one with the connection to the divine. Seek the calmness of the water as you journey through the waves that guide you to the peaceful space of the unknown. Bask in the sunlight as you connect to the rays of color that cascade the beauty, the spectrum which surrounds you. We are one with we are one with mother earth as you connect to the wisdom that is needed to help you through the joys and falls of life you are the ever loving spirit of the divine of oneness and you rise above the beauty of all connect with the inner peace as you connect to the love of the earth that we have given you be one be true and be love there you go all right, guys. Well, I'm sending you lots of love, and it's very true. It is connect to the love of the earth. The earth needs definitely some healing right now. Definitely some healing. So send some love wherever the earth needs some healing. 
send it out there because trust me, it's needed. All right, guys, I'm sending you lots of love. I'll see you tomorrow. If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you Wednesday for the course. Um, but it'll be a lot of fun. Let me put the, uh, I'll pop the link in again one more time if you guys want to come. Uh, it's free. So, you know, if you've got nothing on on Wednesday night, then come along. All right, guys, I'm sending you lots of love. I'll see you soon. Ten, sending you lots and lots of love. Mwah! Have a fun rest of your day, whatever you do. All right, bye, guys.